Hi everyone, it's Jean and I'm back to share with you my tag for the open collaboration. This information is listed on my community page, but if you are interested in participating, and I would love it if you would, even if, you know, things get busy and you can't do all of them, but you just want to do one a week, that would even be wonderful. So anything goes um, as far as interpretation. And I know Deb did a VR for me. And give me a second because I don't... Um, Give me a moment. So her channel is Deb Halk's Crafty Cottage. So she did a VR for me, which was really nice. And I think um, if you decide to participate in this collaboration, it will be a lot of fun. So today is... October 1st, and the prompt is tag. So um, there were some people asking me if they could do a digital of some of these. That's fine, as long as you can upload it into a short or on your community page, a photo, something that you know, meets the criteria of the prompt with your best interpretation. And please use what you have. I do want to give you a couple updates. The con or the collab runs from Monday through Thursday each week. So I think I think I made the updates on my community page, but I will verify. Um, and the hashtag is pink ribbon. And I went down to October 10th where I put it in B, where I put it in. <laughs> oh dear. Where I put in beaded dangle. I also put on here diamond painting sticker. So if you have, um, any of the stickers that you diamond paint that may be um, something that you can put a ribbon on or maybe it is um, the pink ribbon, that would be great. I also went down to um, October 30th where it says stencil. I also put rubber stamp because not everyone has stencils and I understand that. Um, also 10-7 and 10-8 index card and Rolodex card. If you don't have a Rolodex card, which is basically a card that fits in a Rolodex with phone numbers on it, uh, it has little um, cutouts in the in the um, part that you stick down into the actual plastic Rolodex. If you don't have that, that's okay. Just do an index card instead. So I'm pretty much open for any interpretation as long as it um, has the hashtag and has my name on it. So, so what I'm going to do today is I have been doing a little bit of drawing and fussy cutting. And so I have some hearts here. I made some chickens. I'm so excited about my chickens. But I haven't um, cut any of them out yet. Here's another little heart. And I'm sorry, I haven't colored them. And here's another chicken. So I'm so excited about my chickens more than anything. And um, 
I will be doing a video on them soon. So stay tuned for that. But today we are doing tags. You, and I am using, this is not really, this is not um, file folder, but it is a double layer of paper. And I'm going to use another tag that I have as a template to see if I can cut the sides. I don't even think I'm gonna do that. What you can do to cut your um, template, let me use these scissors, <clears throat> is, or cut your tag, you can cut it off like this, and then you turn this side over and then you know exactly where to cut. So you can either just cut it like that, or I'm going to make it a little bit easier and I'm going to draw a little line. And then I don't like how tall this is, so I am just going to cut the top off. So this is going to be our tag. It's kind of a fat tag, but what I have in mind for it, um, I think a larger tag is perfect. So let me cut this one with the same um, dimensions. So we can have two if I decide to do two. But these are meant to be pretty quick um, little projects for you that shouldn't take up so much time, which is good because we all need to do other things sometimes. And where... I was moving stuff out of the way. Oh, here's my glue stick. And I also painted my nails pink, which um, for fingernails, I don't usually paint my fingernails pink because um, I don't really wear pink. I love pink things and I love pink in my art but I don't really um, wear it. So there you go, there's that. You know a secret about me in pink. Pink, pink. So I'm going to fold this over and just close that and then this one I'm going to do the same thing for <clears throat> and I'm going to close this okay so I didn't really think about what color or what um, scrapbook paper I could use to kind of cover this. I think I'm going to, let's see. did that paper go? All right, give me a segundo because I have some scrapbook paper right here that I had yesterday. I don't remember where I laid it, but I will find it. 
is no that's yellow so we don't want that and as i mentioned it doesn't have to be necessarily pink this is kind of cool but that's going to be kind of a, a really sharp contrast to what i'm doing um this is pretty so we'll do one in the let's see if this is large enough almost okay so we're going to do one with the um plaid first and even though it's not um large enough it's okay because at the bottom we can add something or maybe the images that we add th will have um different we'll we'll be able to cover up that bottom so this plaid is pretty funky but hey we like we like plaid don't we all right i am going to trim this out using my big old pink scissors. I hope there's a whole, not a whole lot of glare. I um, got up a little bit later than I normally do, so, you know, everything gets pushed back. <clears throat> Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, and let's cover this one in this floral. And I'm going to try to get that so that the floral is right in the middle there. This is actually pink on the other side, but I'm not, I'm not as keen on the other side as I am on the front now if you want to you can cover both sides of your tag i'm not going to do this because this is a nice um like manila color that i think will be great for journaling so whoever is doing the journaling will have plenty of space to do that I'm going to move my chickens and my hearts out of the way. I just wanted to show those to you. This one I may use on one of my tags. I'm going to leave it here. Okay, plaid and floral. So these papers, this one um, is from a Tim Holtz collection. And the other one, I think, is just a paper pack that I had. Or maybe someone shared it with some of the pages with me. I'm not exactly sure where um, this plaid came from. I have to admit, one of my favorite things to make is an is a tag. So you guys are getting you know what? That doesn't really look too bad on the bottom of there. So I think I'm going to. Just add that at the bottom to cover that up, and then I won't have to worry about it. And then it'll give um, some continuity to the cards so that they kind of match. I'm trying to get this straight, and it's not straight. Okay, there we go.
So these tags are nice to stick, of course, in a journal. And they're also nice to include in mail. You can make a tag if you don't make it um, 3D and you would be able to send it in an envelope to someone and I think that would be really nice as well. So there we go. I'm going to use just a little bit of Distress ink on these because I want them to be, um, well, what the Distress ink does is it helps cover up pretty much any imperfections in your cutting as well as it helps to cover up any white edges you might have sticking out because of cutting the paper. So just doing a real light distressing, make it look kind of vintagey. I don't know what that is there, but we will not worry about it right now. Okay, great. So what I have in mind using for these um, are some florals that I made a while back. And they are done with watercolor. And watercolor and uh, ink. So the ink is just a regular uniball black pen. It's kind of my go-to pen when I'm doing uh, drawing, making um, images that I then can color. Um, I know I had one here, but you know, things disappear once you're on camera. But um, I really love these and I have a couple more. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out one of these. I think I'll do this one and put it on the tag. And I keep looking at the rib the ribbon I plan on using, and I can't decide if it's peach or pink. So I may have to look for another piece really quick. So when you're fussy cutting, the gr the best thing to do is to kind of let the paper guide you, um, guide your scissors. That can be kind of difficult when you're working with uh, stiffer paper. So these were made with watercolor markers and then drawn with the black pen. So the petals are kind of gradient where they start out a darker color, which is where you originally lay down the color, and then they go out to a paler color on the ends, which is where when you're stretching out that color from the marker, it does get lighter as you go. So very fun to do. And I believe I have a video about doing that. So I will be sure to link that in case you are interested. It's 
Uh, what I like about using watercolor markers is I have a little bit more control over where the color goes and I also don't have, I use a watercolor um, brush that has the barrel brush that actually has water in it. So that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, I think this might be cut out enough. So we have one going kind of off the page and then these two are a little bit darker. And I'm okay with them being, uh, you know, like all the stems together because I wanna kind of make it be a bouquet. So give me just one second. I need to look in my stash here and make sure I have the right color ribbon. Okay, this one is definitely pink. I don't know if I have any um, pink velvet in here or not. Let me just check really quick because that would be pretty. Oh, and I also got out a piece of that polka dot fabric, so I may just use that. Okay. Okie dokie. I don't see any other pink just by going through this really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and use um, the either the pink seam binding <clears throat> I think I'm just going to use the pink seam binding and then I'm going to use this for the top I think that'll look cute okay so before I glue anything down I want to be able to wrap these up like a little bouquet or nosegay of daisies and whatever else we want to call these flowers. This is not really um, pink for fall, but it's pink for love of all those survivors out there all those people that are still going through their cancer journey and i just wanted to it just made me feel good under the light of my own personal circumstances of doing something that would commemorate those women and men there are men who can get breast cancer as well in their, uh, you know, chest area, breast area. So we don't want to discount them. All right. One of the greatest things I think ever made was crinkle seam binding. <laughs> because it doesn't matter how you, um, how you, you make the bow, it always looks good. So let me cut this off because I think that's enough. And I'm gonna lay this over here. And then I want to position this on here that looks so cute. So, um, let me use my, I've been using my glue stick so much. I haven't been using 
with my other glue and I will see if I can get it to come out because I think this is going to need a stronger glue than just a glue stick. Okay. So this is an old bottle of glitter glue that I don't have the proper point for. I just have the regular point, so it gets clogged up a lot. But should be okay for us to use here in a second. Just make sure there's nothing else blocking it. Okay, looks nice. I am gonna put a little bit of glue on the stem here because it's feeling a little wobbly. Okay, so that one I put down and then I can go ahead and glue the other ones since I know where that one's positioned. And then this last one is going to, let's see, where's the, where are the leaves? So I want them to show as well, if I can get them to show. Okay, this last one, I'm actually only going to glue it in the center because I want it to kind of stand up a little bit so that it looks a little bit more realistic. So I just did that one in the center. Let me just hold some of these I didn't glue down all the way either, which is okay. And then I will come down here and glue the stems because I don't want those to come apart. Okay. So let me move this stem over here. So we have the three stems and then we can kind of see a leaf or two. All right. So that looks beautiful. And if I wanted to, I could put some some a little bit of bling in um the centers. Let me see if I have any Pink. Um, I know I have black. So since they have black on there, I'm just going to use the black just to give them a little bit of sparkle. Hopefully this one will work. Let's just do a check. Make sure. This might be too big to go in. Okay. No, we're good. Let's see if it comes out. Okay, so I'm going to put some right here and put some right here. And it'll just be a little tiny bit of um, some sparkle. And let me put some on here where I put the little dots on the daisy. May have to put a couple extra since covering them up. There we go. 
That's so cute. So I wanted to put on the some type of saying that I think would be appropriate and um I think this one is this one this is not really pink but that's okay because the majority of what we're doing is pink uh and this says the journey is the destination and really what our friends and family members go through really is a journey a long journey and it can take its toll on everyone that's involved but we always have to remember that what we're trying to get at is the destination or the cure. So there is my tag. I thought maybe I would add that polka dot topper, but I'm not convinced that that's what I want. Not convinced. So Maybe I can just add a little piece of lace at the top that I can use as a topper. And I think this lace is cute because it will go with the distressing around the edges. So when I add my toppers, I usually just... Um, staple them on but if you want to you can do the hole and the um you know pull pull it through that's fine too oh, I hope I grab both sides when I do this I got kind of Okay, okay, let's put a tiny bit of glue here so that the back will stay put. I don't want to flip this over because it'll mess up the stickles. I always say, do the stickles last, Jean. Do the stickles last. I'm always saying that to myself because I know nine times out of ten, I'm going to put my finger or something in it. So if you've had that problem, you know exactly what I mean. Okay, stay over there, buddy. Okay, well, it caught it. It needs to be stapled again but it did catch it. Let's see if I can staple it a little bit higher. Now it'll be okay, it won't be so floppy. That is really, turned out really cute. Now, if you want to, you can go to the extent of, you know, rounding your corners and all that jazz to kind of finish it up if you want to, but not necessary. And this tag, because it has um, three layers, it's going to be pretty, pretty sturdy. So, so there is my hashtag pink ribbon entry for the very first of October. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and that you too choose to make a cute tag for a friend or family member or to save for yourself and <coughs> we can remember those that have not only 
um, suffered through this disease, but also have um, those that have survived and are survivors. So that's a very amazing thing. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.